Hello fellow Pokemon collectors, today I'm customizing a sleeping Pokemon wooden plant potter. Here in Japan, Pokemon come in a variety of different ways, including giant wall digital displays, all things edible, as well as a variety of different oddly shaped plushies. I found this wooden plant potter in the garbage weeks ago. There are staples in it, there are scratches on the surface, I had to clean cobwebs out of the inside, but all in all it's in good condition and there's a perfect spot here on the front for a sleeping Pokemon party. This idea was inspired by a sleeping Eevee I purchased at the Pokemon Center in Tokyo earlier this year. I'm doing absolutely nothing to the surface other than drawing on it with basic yellow street chalk. My goal for this forest is a wet, warm, sort of swampy Pokemon wonderland where they can just rest and sleep and not worry about getting caught. Blending in my background a little bit more thoroughly with Mint Green and Grinch Green, both from Angelus Direct. Creating a little bit of shrubbery using a piece of a towel dipped in dark green. Let the slumber party begin and I am starting off with a Jigglypuff and Snorlax. I am painting a few of the Pokemon freehand as well as using Sorrel transfer paper for others. A link to the Sorrel transfer paper can be found down below in the description.
not want a super glossy finish, so I'm using a semi-gloss top coat purchased locally. And this is the complete sleeping Pokemon wooden plant pot. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me through my Instagram or my website. Both links are down below as are links to all the products I used in this video. Big thanks to Angela's Direct for the paints and thanks guys for watching.